Hello, everyone. Today, we will discuss one of the most important topics in SAP MM. Till date, we have seen how to create different type of documents, how to create materials, how to create vendors, how to create purchase requisitions. So these are all our transactions data, right? You are creating purchase requisition, purchase order. You are doing goods receipt, right? Then you are uh, doing invoicing, right? So after doing all these transactions, if you want to check where all this data is going to store, so obviously there is a table where all these data are going to store, right? So what what is the name of that table? So uh, you know, usually when you will be working for any uh, announcement or the customization, maybe uh, you may require some uh, you know table name, some field name. So field we will talk about uh, this later, but today we will be uh, majorly focusing on the table level. So where all these data, what where all our transaction data is going to store. Okay, so we have two transaction code which can be used or which can be uh, used to see those uh, table. So either you can get into SE16 or SE16N. So it is depend uh, whatever the T code you want to use, you can get into that and you can check. So let's get into SE16N and press enter. And here you can see this is your general data or uh, general table uh, display type. Okay. So here now it is depend what data you want to check, what is the table name. And so just to enter the table name, whatever you want to check, either it is for material master, for business partner, for purchase requisition, for purchase order, for goods receipt, whatever you want. Okay. So just enter the table name, whatever data you want to check. So for example, now suppose if you want to check, so these are uh, a few tab a few uh, table name I had just mentioned based on the topics, like for material master. If you want to check some data, uh, like in Mara, in MARC, in MBW, in M6. So these are the like, you know, table name which we have in Material Master. So if you want to check what data is going to store in Mara, what, uh, you know, the data which is going to store in MARC table, what is uh, the data which is going to store in MBEW or M6, that you can check now. So let's get into the system. Now, suppose if you want to check, so just enter the table name here, Mara. And here you have to enter the number of hits, means number of entries, how many entries you want to check on this table. Okay. And if you want to know what is the total number of entries we have in this table, then you can click on this number of entries. And then you can check how many total uh, number of entries we have. So here we have 1076 entries. Okay. But now it is depend how many numbers you want to check. Now, suppose if you want to see only 100 data. Okay. Then just enter that. And if you know that particular material, you can enter the material number as well. Okay. So you, there are different ways we can search or we can uh, maintain the data and we can search the uh, search in the table label. Okay. So now I just want to check on this table and just I want to see 20 entries. Okay. So just enter number of hits. So it is depend how much entries or how much uh, hits you want to check. If you want to see 100 data, no, sorry, 1000 data, enter 1000, 100, then 100. Or if you want to see just 20, so there may be so many data. So I'm just entering 20. So I want to see only the 20 hits, 20 uh, transactions in Mara table. Okay. Then just click on execute. And you can see now in this Mara table, what are the data that is going to store. Okay. So it is, it may take time based on the, you know, number of hits, how much you want to see. So sometime, uh, you know, if suppose there are 1000 or 100, then based on that, uh, sometime it takes time to, uh, you know, display the data. So you can see now in this table, in this material, first column is material field. So in material, you can see which, when it is created, who has created, what is the last change, right? Then what is the material type has been used? Then what is the unit of measurement? What is the uh, like material group you have created for this particular material or you have used that material uh, group for this particular material? That can be seen in Mara table, right? So just go back in the same way if you want to, if you want to know more about um, the table which is related to material master or um, related to MA, what could be different type of, you know, uh, the tables we have, then just enter MA. Uh, MA is star and execute if it is visible. If not, just get into this 
and you can see these are the table which are which we have uh, which starts with MA, MA, BW, MACW, MA, FU, MHD, and on the right hand side, you can see the description as well. So it is depend what do you want to see. Okay. And there is another way you can check for MBEW, you can check for MSEG. If suppose you want to check for MSEG, MSEG, and then execute, then number of hits, it is depend how much you want to see. So now you can see 20 entries, number of entries, number of hits, we have 20. Okay. So in MSEG, you can see this is your material document number and which is created from which plant for which movement type, which year it is created, what is the storage location, what is the amount and all. So that you can check in this. Okay. So like this, you can check all your table, whatever you want to see. So this is related to material master. If you want to check some data on business partner. So in business partner now, if you want to check for a supplier, what is the bank detail? What is the bank information? Bank key has been maintained. If you want to check that, then you need to get into this table, BUT0BK. So get into this again in MA16N, then just execute. You can see. So this is your business partner. And again, against this, this is the bank key and this is a bank account number which is maintained. So in this in this way, you can check your tables. If you want to check for info record, in info record now, suppose you want to check what is the order price uh, it is maintained. What you want to check the order, uh, the price history of the info record. Then EIPA is the table name and go to EIPA. And then execute and it is depend how many and if you want to check total how many number of entries are available in this table then just click on this and you will get to know so four five seven total entries you have out of that how many you want to see just enter that quant uh sorry how many how many uh numbers you want to see just enter 20 and you can see 20 info records and for this info records these are the purchase order which is created and it is you know again for which plant for which purchase organization how much quantity it is maintained and what is the net price. Okay. So this is how you can check for each and every table. Like for the purchase requisition, if you want to check for general data, EBAN, for EBKN is used for account assignment data. So if you want to check for EBAN, just enter the table name and execute. So you can see now based on the number of hits, so here you can see the list of all the purchase requisitions. So 20 number of hits we had given. So we can see only the 20 numbers here. So these are the purchase requisition number. What is the document type you have used here? Right. Then what is the purchase group? Who has created? Who have uh, And who is the requisitioner? What is the material you had used? What is the material number? What is the plant code? What is the material group? So if you want to check all the details in the table label, you can check from here. Then for in the same way, you can check for the purchase order, EKPO, EKKO, EKB. So these are the table name we have. You can check with the table name. You have to just enter the table name and you can see what are the purchase document has been created. And against this, what if any material document has been created against that, you can check that too. What is the movement type is posted what is where is when was the posting date how much quantity you have posted what is the amount what is the currency right if an invoicing this is called grir so general ledger uh, goods receipt and invoice receipt so if invoicing is done even you can see that too okay and in the same way you can check for the goods receipt msec we have seen so i'm just removing from here so that you can check in goods receipt itself and mkpf like that, we have different different table names so where you can see all your data in details. Okay. So in the same way, you can check uh, whenever it is required, you can check the uh, transactions in the table label. In the next video, we will talk about the uh, field name, like how you can check the field label uh, and what is the exact field name we have when we are creating any uh, document and if you want to know like for this particular like suppose if, if you are if you are creating a purchase order and in purchase order there is a, a field called plant so what is the technical field name of that plant if you want to know that then we will discuss that in our next videos
thank you everyone if you have any concern please ping us we will report back on that okay. thank you everyone